Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the LEGO City Volcano Exploration Base. This is how kind of how far we made it in part one. Uh, we're not going to really go through all of that because you can check out the part one video down below if you haven't seen it. So right now we're moving on to bag number four. We're about halfway done with instruction book two. And what these parts are for is to kind of complete the exploration base, the mobile command unit part of it. So there's all of our parts. Um, we have wheels and tires. I'm gonna slap these together and push them to the side just to get them out of the way. Looks like we're not gonna build a minifigure in this bag. So far in the set, the first three bags had minifigures, but this one does not. It's okay. We will just jump right into continuing this build. Got a couple of these 2x2 two two bricks with a Technic pen on the side. And some two by two round bricks. Have some dome shaped bricks on the top. This piece slides in right there. Put a six by six plate on top and that will interlock everything together. We have a Half-Life 2 crowbar. And a jackhammer on the side. Table plate that goes in this little turntable piece. A couple plates with Technic pinholes on the side. Push that back one stud. Turn the page. We have some wedge plates. these Technic pins with an axle hole. It's kind of a modified pin with axle hole. Kind of start to push them in, but we don't push them in all the way. That way we can uh, attach the next piece to it. So this is going to be the beginnings of the first door. A sloped brick, a regular brick. <clears throat> now we have two of these window 
pieces. And we're gonna put this trans light blue glass piece in there. It's not really glass, it's it's plastic, but it's, it's supposed to represent the window glass. Plate on top. Have a one by one Technic brick that has that hole in it. Another brick, another Technic brick, and two tiles. We have sticker number two, which is this long sticker. This will go the length of this door inside that brick. Okay, so bring this over, line those pinholes up, and then slide slide that Technic piece in. See, that's created our first door. Pretty cool. I'm going to rinse and repeat for the other side. Oops. Sorry, plate. blue glass panels just need it actually to go here since it's on the other side well take that back they're actually showing it you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I want. See, if it's gonna be on this side, it should have the black pieces mirroring it, but they're actually showing it over here. Which I don't think that makes sense. So I'm slightly modifying mine. That's the beauty of Lego. You can follow the instructions if you want, or you can just use it as a a general guide and you can kind of do whatever you want that's what i'm doing okay so there's our long sticker for that side we'll line it up just like the other side attach it on there very good and some luggage rack looking piece on the top now we have our four wheels and tires Let's show a little kickstand style piece go on the bottom Turn it over, you can see it stands up flat on that. Little communication satellite of some sort. And roll this around to this side. And a antenna there. All right, so that completes the command unit. You can see you can open up both sides to access the inside for playability. There's really no 
stairs or ladder, any way to get up in here. So you have to kind of use your imagination with that. You can close it up. Our trailer piece can attach there. And it can roll away. That's pretty cool. All right, so that completes instruction book number two. So we are going to move on to instruction book number three, which is going to, looks like, build this little rock chipper thing. Right, so maybe we're going to start bag number five right now. Okay, we have all of the parts for bag five dumped out. We do have a minifigure in this bag. It's one of the explorers that's going to be out in the field, so he needs to have his protective gear on. So similar to the, the female that was in bag number one, this guy has the breathing apparatus, the helmet, the face mask, all of the, the whole get up to where he's protected out in the molten lava fields. And we have another one of these gem pieces that's inside of the lava rock. Move that to the side. All right, so let's begin our little tracked jackhammer tractor thing. Not quite sure what the official name of it is. Starting off with some pretty simple little bricks. There's actually not any pieces in this bag at all. The bulk of the pieces are the tracks which I kind of have poured off to the side, right, right over here. They came in a bag by themselves. Slightly getting ahead of myself on the instructions. All right, so we have these three long axles that we're gonna slide in here. This will help hold this whole thing together. eight of these one by three tiles. They make a two by three tile now. Could have given us these. Actually, I think this set was made before they actually started putting the two by three tiles in sets. Okay, so what we have now is four of these Dark bluish gray gears. All goes around like that. Next we have two more that have a axle in them. There, like that. <clears throat> it's 
So these pulley wheels that have the little bike tire type thing on that will actually be what will touch the ground and roll when you're playing with this. The tank treads actually won't do much rolling at all. Exactly the same. Those will attach to those brackets on the side. All right, so that's the basic frame of everything. Next up we have the little tank treads. You see there's a whole slew of them there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I actually have quite a few that are pre-assembled. So I'm gonna grab some of these. That way I don't have to sit here and try to assemble all of these because it's going to take a long time so basically you you clip them together there's a little micro bar and a micro clip and you can see that they they all clip together like this like i said i'm not gonna sit there and do that all so we need 42 per side so i'm gonna count them out so we got two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, and 42 is right there. So pop that one off. So there's our 42 length piece. See if I have enough. Nope. So I'm going to have to pop a few of these on to get that length that I need. And the rest of these will just go in my spare parts bin. All right, one more. You see how I was, I'm not counting the second one, I'm just lining it up next to the first one since I already counted the first one. We line them up, they're the same length. And that's how we know we have the right amount. So there's a center portion of this that lines up on these gears. We bring it around. It'll snap together, just like that. The other side. Okay. Focus. All right, so that completes bag number five. So let's move on to our sixth bag right now. Okay, we have everything for bag six dumped out. Start with this 8x8 plate. There's no minifigures in this bag. I think we might be done with the minifigures for the whole set. Just kind of looking at the. No, I take that back. Looking at the box art, I see one more minifigure that we haven't. At least one more that we haven't built. There may be more. So. 
kind of like the way that they spread them out throughout the set. And I made a mistake. This piece doesn't go here. Use our trusty brick separator. Move it over one stud. Um, no, I was saying that uh, I appreciate, or I like the way that they spread the minifigures out among all the bags. That way you're not just building the minifigures and not building the set. Because I know my kids, when they would build sets, they would, if all the minifigures came in the first bag, they would build the minifigures and then just go play with them as little little micro dolls and do all kinds of imaginative things with them. And then they would forget to build the set. They would eventually come back and build it, but, you know, attention span is not very long with Young kids sometimes. Okay, we have nice little <clears throat> lime green accents throughout this piece so far. This looks like the cockpit area for the operator of this heavy machinery. So we have our little levers in here. A couple chamfered corner bricks. Now we're going to pile this thing up. Add some decoration to this little hatch piece. Make it look more like a roof. I mean a, uh, a hood. Because that's where the engine compartment would be for the tractor. Okay, we have some windscreens. Driver's cabin roof, another light. Have a, another sticker. Getting close to using all of our stickers. It was a very large sticker sheet that came with this set. So it's taken a while to use them all. our light bar with the safety railing around it. Okay, these two more stickers. there. So that 
Makes for a nice little tractor looking piece. Right, move that to the side. We have the little control arm to build. Whoops. stickers. This one that says three ton on it. Yeah, that's sticker number three. Get there, and this is the last sticker. Yay. We made it through all the stickers. Basically these warning stripe stickers again. I go on the side of these little Lift arm pieces. All right. So they just show us putting that off to the side. We're not really doing anything with it yet. Now we have a few Technic pieces to build. So for the city set, these Technic parts may cause the most um, trouble for any young builder. These are a little bit different than just stacking studs. You have to put these pins in and pin connectors and just a lot more bits and pieces that go into building it. They do try to make it easy by showing you small amount of steps per Um, first step, I guess. Okay, we have some thin lift arms. Then we have these pieces. Slides in here. This looks like our little piece that chips away at stuff. We've got this cone with the little spike on it. Slide that there. Connect that piece. The little toe ball. So in this little box, there's a red rubber band. We just simply wrap it around one end, put it there. This piece goes here. This piece goes here. And there's your little spiking action. All right, so that's going to complete this portion of the build. We're going to have one more portion left. Um, this, this is a pretty cool little tractor piece. So um, make sure to subscribe. Check out my other videos. There's a link down below for all of my LEGO City videos. So there's a playlist. You can kind of binge watch them. And then, um, yeah, come back for part three. So thanks again for watching. Put a comment down below. Hit the like button. Do all those things you know how to do on YouTube. And we'll see you in the future.